Hello everyone. Uh, this is Maida. I am here with um, my Cupid file to show you guys exactly how I set up. Um, well, not exactly because I already have the layers drawn. But I just wanted to show you guys how I put together the um, animation after I've drawn all the parts in Metabang Paint, which is currently my preferred program. Um, so right now this is the current animation and I will play it for you guys. Uh, yeah, just so you can see it. Oh, is it playing? There we go. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how this all gets put together with, um, on the side. And you can actually access this file, um, <clears throat> if you are on my patreon account as a three dollar member <clears throat> excuse me um yeah so first i'm gonna wipe out this whole animation sequence just because uh it'll be easier on my computer and i'm just showing you guys from scratch anyway and i have a backup file uh of this an uh, specific animation loop okay so give me a minute um, I'm <laughs> trying to hold up the microphone. How very old school of me. But I lost my little stand for it. So I'm just gonna get rid of this here. This is our timeline, which is an option in Photoshop. I hear that you can do animations in... Oops, shit. I hear that you can do animations in a certain program. Clip Studio Paint, but... I haven't used that program, so, uh, let's see, so, I'm trying to delete it. If you hit delete from here, it will delete the layer that you are selected on in your layers panel. Uh, so you gotta go down to its own little editing thing at the bottom here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's this little trash can mark. Okay are these hands. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys uh, all the stuff. Shoot, I'm just gonna show you guys all the stuff that's separate. And you, I mean, I can't remember if I posted a, can't remember if I posted a process video of this drying specifically. Probably not, I haven't posted one in a while. Oh, Jesus. This, this, this. Okay. So, as you can see, this whole part that I'm showing you guys right now, which looks kind of like a weird mannequin type thing, um, this is the main part of the body that does not move, the static part of the GIF or image. Um, so, this hand is separate. And, well, I'll just show you guys all the separate parts from, uh, together. So this hand is separate, eyes are separate, mouth is separate. All the things that I wanted to change are separate elements. Um, I'm going to hide the text for now because you don't really need it. Um, and, <laughs> so yeah, without the static part of the image. This is what those look like. Um, as you can see in this hand, I added some extra uh, color just since it was going to wiggle around. I'll show you how I make it wiggle. Since I was going to have it wiggle around, well, it's not a huge leap, actually. Um, I wanted to make sure the color, when, once I rotated it, I wanted to make sure the color wasn't going to fuck up. And actually, I might... Here, I'll show these all together so you can see them. I'm actually going to adjust some things, though, in this file, because in the final animation that I posted, the arrow honestly doesn't look like it's wiggling enough to my liking. So, I'm going to keep the center one, but I'm going to trash... This one, group and contents, 
group and content. Okay. Um, so the first thing I want to do... So for this one, I wanted his hand to be moving. Okay, let's go to his arm, actually. And based on all the <laughs> separate ones that I made, this is like the bottom one. His arm actually doesn't move all that much. I guess that's better because it doesn't look quite as strange in the final animation. But uh, I did want it to move slightly more, so um, I'm going to go in and rotate. <laughs> I'm going to go in and rotate things. Um, so I'll just show you guys how that looks so far. And the reason I have this set to 0.06 is just it looked be it looked nicer to me than uh, 0.0 anything else. But uh, my sister found out the other day you can't actually. <laughs> it makes sense, but like you wouldn't really think about it because when we were younger we would set the frame rate to uh, zero so that everything would just look smoother, -er, but then when you go and uh, export it like that, um, the layers, the, the animation will act weird because all the layers are trying to show through at the exact same time since there's no delay. So you want to do a minimum of 0.03 is what I hear, but um, I'm going to try 0.0. I'm just going to go with 0.07. Uh, well, no, let's go with 0.08 actually. Um, and if you need, if we need to fix this later, we will. And I don't want the text to show right now. But, uh, from here, you just hit this little plus sign to make a new layer. And you go back in here. Our first layer is already the, just with his hand at the bottom there. And we're gonna just, <laughs> this is just a process of hiding and showing the next few layers. So, uh, ooh, that's kind of choppy looking, but whatever. We're gonna keep it, keep it open. Did I do this right? Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. I might speed through this part because it's already taken me a while to do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're changing it to point oh seven. Trying to remember how I did the original animation. I think I wanted his eyes to close and then I wanted him to start grinning, so we're gonna do close this. Start with that, and his eyes. Even though he's just opening and closing them, I have uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight <laughs> different ones. Okay, so this is the eyes that we started him off with. So we're just gonna have him start closing them. Like I said, I put these in order of like how the animation makes most sense to me. So I started with him wide-eyed, but I decided that this was a better uh, eye to start with. Anyways, closing it now, so we're just going to go to the layer below. Oh, shit. Actually, for closing them, i got to go to the layer above. Whoops. Layer above. New frame. Layer below. Okay. New frame. I probably didn't need all these extra blinky 
layers. I could probably remove some because you notice that I was removing some of the wiggly arrow ones. But okay. This is what we're gonna do. Um, and I'm gonna go back to these frames and adjust the mouth. Okay, mouth. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I'll just keep the mouth this way because I don't want it to be a super wide grin yet. Let's go back to closing the mouth. And we can actually make him rub his chin. If we go back to his arm, let's see where I want to start that. Hmm. Start it here. Alright, this is our gift. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just it's just the timeline feature on Photoshop, so it's really nothing fancy. You do have to draw all the things, so it's a little bit of a different process than like drawing straight up art. Um, I would say it's probably easier to plan for an animation before you start the drawing, um, rather than after. If you do it after, um, then it's a lot of separating the layers after you already did all the work to color everything. So it's kind of extra effort if you don't plan from the beginning. Um, but, you know... It takes time either way, so you do you. And I guess for like, if you wanted to just add blinking after you already animated a picture, that's some easy stuff. <laughs> I can... Uh, you know, it's easy enough to erase the eyes and 
copy and paste them and then adjust them for whatever reason. Um, anyways, I hope this was enlightening to you guys. I don't actually know, because, uh, it's just me sitting around and doing what I do. So, uh, let me know if this was interesting or not. I mean, um, <laughs> I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna call it a day. See ya, bye.